A rolling bag. All right. This is what I always wanted to do since high school. My senior year, I was in a pottery class and I was also an aide for another pottery class. And then I had like a homeroom hour where I just kind of hung out in the pottery class and did my homework. I was just it's kind of one of the first things I found in life that I actually really loved. And uh, when I graduated high school, I said, I'm going to be a potter. But I didn't do that. <laughs> Actually, I never made a pot again for well over a decade. Did a bunch of other stuff, though. Got in some trouble. And got out of trouble. Figured out how to be a nicer person. Um, when I was living in Austin, Texas, my now wife, Laura, got me a present at a local art center to little pottery class she knew it was my dream and kind of reawakened it in me and I was so thrilled that she got me that class that I, I said I would love to accept this gift but you have to let me buy you a class so we can do it together she said sure and we did that together and it was really nice and, uh, and we started hanging out a lot me and her and we rock climbed all over the country and started playing music together and uh, you know, music kind of became our thing that we did all the time. So we put all our energy into it. We toured around the country for a while with one band, and after that broke up, I didn't know what to do with my life. And I was I was 30 years old by that point, and maybe maybe I was like 33. And uh, I decided to go to, back to Berea College, go to get my graduate degree, or I mean my undergraduate degree. And, they accepted me. <laughs> I applied and they said, sure, why not? Let's give it a shot. And I was like, wow, cool. What what am I going to major in? And I remember back when I was in high school, I remembered, oh yeah, I want to be a potter. So I majored in it. That's where I met Noah Broomfield. He also is majoring in ceramics. And uh, we became fast friends there at Brea College. And we sat the wheels at school a lot and decided, man, it'd be nice to make uh, pottery out in the woods, out where it's real quiet. And so I invited him out here one time, and he liked it out here. And uh, so kind of after school, in a roundabout way, he started coming out a lot, and we started working together, and sort of started this whole turtle farm thing. Uh, we're so lucky to be out here. Our good friends Kim and Fred made it happen. They built this studio, I think in the 90s? It says it's in the cement over there. But... And he's a great stone sculptor. That's what this studio is made for, stone sculpture. And we've been slowly converting it into a ceramic studio. But it's a true joy to just live close to nature, work with nature, with your art, for your job. It's a privilege. It's like a gift that's been given to us, and it's hard to know what to do with it. We really enjoy it. We recognize it. We love, we love this area because, because of the people that are here, and, we, a big dream of mine is that this pottery would become part of the culture of this area. People are using it in their homes, where they go out and recreate, um, that, it, that it enlightens their experience on a day-to-day -day basis, that they actually receive some kind of joy through the experience of using our pots. That's like, if we can do that, I don't really know what much means, but I, I, it makes me happy, it makes me feel satisfied that people people would do that and that we could be making a place a little bit better through our efforts I don't know I don't have that all worked out but we've been seeing it happen a little bit and I think that's what gets me thinks thinking of it like the owner of Skybridge Station Clifton and Brian they 
they use our pottery there for bourbon glasses. They serve their bourbon in it, and they serve their food on our plates and bowls. And, and that's pretty cool for me to go down there and get a beer and get some food and see people that I know love and love dearly and people I don't know at all, you know, drinking a bourbon out of something that Noah made or something that I made. And I really love that. There's so many things I should say and want to say, but I haven't really prepared. I don't know. How come you're a potter? 